Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomo T, and today I have a tutorial showing how to make these cute little lava lamps out of polymer clay and resin. And I did my three animals that I always make. I made a bunny, a turtle, and a cat. And one thing really cool about this uh, lava lamp is that it actually glows in the dark. So I used to glow in the dark clay for the inside. So when you turn off the light, it actually glows. So let's get started. So first I took some scrap clay to make the lava lamp like template. So I just kind of rolled it into a carrot shape and cut off the two ends. So it looks like a cone. Next I baked the template and I made a silicone mold out of that. Then on top of the baked template, I'm adding some silver clay on top to make the top part of the lava lamp. I'm going to blend it onto the template and cut off the excess so it's nice and flat. And we're going to do the same thing with the bottom part, but it's going to be a lot fatter than the top. But for the bottom part, we're going to do it twice so it kind of caves in in the middle, kind of like an hourglass shape. So this is the standard lava lamp shape, but we're going to give it some customizations to it. So for the bunny ears, we're going to take some silver clay and roll it out into a carrot shape and cut off the end and add that to the top of our lava lamp. And this will be our bunny lava lamp shape. For the cat, we're going to take the same silver clay and pinch it into a flattened triangle, cut off the ends and add that to the top as well. For the turtle, we're going to take a ball of silver clay and slightly flatten it out and then cut it at one end. And this will be the head which we'll place onto the lava lamp. And we're going to add little triangles that we pinch out just like the cat ears. And we're going to cut that and add that around our lava lamp for the little feet. Then you want to bake these according to instructions. Next we're going to make the inside of the lava lamp. So I used the Sculpey Glow in the Dark Clay. So I'm just taking three colors, the green, the orange, and the blue. So for the cat, we're going to take some Glow in the Dark Orange Clay. On a flattened circle, we're going to add two little triangles. And our dot eyes and a line smile. And I rolled out balls of clay along with some other weird shapes. So it looks like a lava lamp and added that to the mix. For the bunny, we're going to take a circle of clay, flatten it out, and add our two little bunny ears on top. And once again, we're going to add the dot eyes and the line smile. For the turtle shell, we're going to take some green clay and flatten it out into a mound shape. And then we're going to give it a dot head along with four little triangle legs, kind of like the lava lamp shape that we made earlier. And of course, we'll make the dot eyes and the line smile. So now we have everything baked. What we're going to do is carefully take off the silver pieces off the template. So be really careful, but I just made a little score mark with my blade and it just kind of pops right off. So here's the turtle. And then this is the kitty one. And this is the bunny one. Here are the little turtle pieces that are all nice and baked. So what we're going to do is make the turtle lava lamp first. So I'm taking some UV resin and I'm going to add some green pigment and mix it together. And I actually thought I made it a little bit too dark of a green. So then I kind of watered it out by adding more resin into it it a lot lighter and I'm just gonna pour it into layers and as I pour the layers in I'm adding the little clay pieces into it and then curing little by little and repeating the steps and I'm doing that with all the different ones for the turtle when I placed it in I placed it in the resin and I did like a tack cure which I just cured it really quickly while I was holding it and then I did a final cure and then I kept adding on the layers over and over again until the mold was all filled up And then once filled, 
and fully cured. I took it out of the mold. And then I added some super glue on top to add in our little turtle top and turtle base. So next we're going to do the same thing with the kitty one. So we have our little cat head along with the little pieces. So I'm going to make it a little bit yellow for this lava lamp. So I added some yellow pigment and poured it into layers. And as I pour the layers in, I did the same thing where I just added the clay pieces in layers and let it cure and continue pouring on layers until it's fully filled. And I took it out of the mold once it was fully cured. And I kind of moved the cat head a little bit too much to the top, but it's okay. And I added my super glue and attached on my pieces. Then finally we have our little bunny lava lamp. So we're going to add our UV resin into our mix. Add a little bit of blue and mix it well together. And this is like the perfect light blue that I got on the first try. And I'm, so I'm pouring it into the well and doing my cures over and over again. Also adding our little bunny and doing a flash cure. and continuing that step until it's completely filled. After it was fully set and filled, we're gonna take it out of the mold and glue on the clay pieces on top. So here are the unpolished lava lamps. So we have our little turtle, our little kitty cat, and the little bunny. So next all we gotta do is add the glaze. So first I glaze the base and let that set completely. And then I glaze the resin pieces of the lava lamp. And I did that with all three. And let that fully set under the UV lamp because I used UV resin, but you can use any glaze you want. And here are the finished product. It's so shiny. Yes, there were bubbles in there. Sometimes you can't be helped with UV resin when you're doing such a big piece but I really love how it turned out. I thought the bubbles made it more authentic and it really does glow in the dark, so I'm super happy about that. So thank you all for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you.